Hi friends, welcome to SSCG Electrical. In this video, I am going to discuss important electrical circuit questions. In this given question, what we have to calculate for the circuit shown below, voltage V1 will be voltage V1 we have to calculate that is here the voltage we have to calculate that is voltage V1 with respect to ground we have to calculate. So, if we apply nodal analysis, it will take more time because here the here is one node and here is the another node because all this is all these two lines that is all these three elements are connected between these two nodes. So, let it be this is one node and this is another node this is another node. Okay. So, if you apply nodal analysis it will take more time. So, instead of that if you reduce the circuit after that if you apply nodal analysis it becomes so easy. Here these three elements. So, this element and this element this element has been connected between these two nodes. Okay. Let it be this is one node this is another node because there is no elements between these two. Okay. Let it be this is one node and this is the another node this is the ground and this is one node between these two nodes these three elements connected. So, these three are in parallel. So, if you see this 4 ohms and 4 ohms these two are in parallel. So, here 4 ohms and 4 ohms are in parallel. So, we can write we can rewrite like this and if you simplify these two. So, 4 ohms and 4 ohms are parallel that is 4 into 4 by 4 plus. So, 4 that is 16 by 8 that is 2 ohms you are getting. So, instead of these two resistors we can replace with 2 ohm resistor instead of this instead of just remove these two and just write only 2 ohms here then these 2 ohms will be parallel to this current source. Now, do the source transformation here current source is in parallel with resistor. So, we can replace with voltage source in series with the resistance therefore, the resistance becomes 2 ohms the voltage becomes V equal to I into R that is 2 into 5 that is 10 volts. So, we can replace like this the 2 ohms and 10 volts that is 2 ohms in parallel with 5 ohm current though that can be replaced with this. So, now you can see it has been simplified only single load appearing here. So, this is not a node because it, it is not more than 2. If more than 2 branches are interconnected then we can say it is a node and this is the ground. Now, we can apply the uh, nodal analysis that is you can see here here the current is entering here. So, current will live here and another current will live here. So, I equals to this 10 amps can be written as 10 equal to what is the current that is flowing through this that is V 1 by I I equal to V by R that is V 1 by 1 plus. So, what is the voltage? What is the voltage in this branch? That is V 1 plus 10 by the total resistance that is 4 ohms. So, like this you can get it. Okay. Just simplify this what you will get 10 equals to 4 V 1 plus V 1 plus 10 by that is 4. So, what you will get 40 equals to 4 V 1 plus 10. So, if you simplify so what you will get sorry here the 5 V 1 this is 5 V 1 plus 10 that is. So, 10 40 minus 10 that is 30 that is 5 V 1. So, 30 by 5 that is V 1 5 1s are 5 6 are. So, V 1 equal to 6 volts we are getting. Okay. So, this is a required voltage this is a required voltage that is voltage across this 1 ohm resistance that is V 1. So, here the answer is 6 volts. Okay. So, for this kind of circuit we can solve like this instead of applying nodal analysis if we reduce the circuit after that if you apply nodal analysis it becomes so easy okay that is nodal nothing but a kcl here and thanks for watching this video please like this video and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you